Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Are you looking to install lights, LED lights or any LED lights on your electrical motorbike, electrical bike, electrical skateboard like the example we're going to use in this video or anything else? This video is for you. My name is Pavel and I love electrical skateboarding and this is my hobby. This is what I do to unwind and this time I am upgrading my board, which is the uh, bullet build. I've got a few boards already built and I've got tons of videos on my channel. How to build the board, decks, wiring, how to build batteries, how to program ECs and all sorts of stuff like that. So check it out. However, in this video, we're gonna talk about LED lights. For starters, I think the hobby of PEVs, the personal electrical vehicles, is becoming really popular and people don't just want something that takes them around the block. Uh, just pressing the button. They also want that vehicle to be uh, visible, to be personalized, to be cool, to be different. And one of the things you can do is to dress it up in LED lights. And obviously the second question straight away would be, how do I run those lights? Yes, there are thousands and thousands of lights out there on the market and I got a full box of them. And some of them are really, really good. And yes, you can charge them up and plug it on your board using some sort of clip or the GoPro mount or whatever notes. If you go for a longer ride and if you have a massive battery on your board, something that can take you 30, 40 miles, that will take a few hours. Most of the good lights, the powerful lights will die out by the time you halfway through your ride. So what you want is to go to just one step up is to get your lights wired to the battery so you always have that safety aspect of your electrical personalized vehicle when you're riding is the lights. So I think the next logical step guys is for me to explain to you what I'm doing with my electrical skateboard as an upgrade so you can see what you can achieve by watching this video. So for starters, I do have a wired in front light front LED light which will be always on when I turn it on and it will last me as long as my battery lasts me that's perfect you will be safe you will be visible and you see where you're going when you're riding your electrical uh, vehicle whatever that could be also I do have the rear light on my board that's a bit of a different story I will explain that and cover that in a different video because it is ran via the EC and it's a running light with the actual stop light uh, function. I will cover that in the next video. During my upgrades of the bullet build, which is beautiful as it was already, but you know how I am. I just wanna go further and further and further. What I've done was I've created a new battery box with a new carbon fiber. What I have done at the same time is I've, I've added on some LED lighting into the board itself. Yes, it is completely flush with the resin. It doesn't stick out, it doesn't dip in. It is part of the box completely. So when it turns on, it glows nice and uh, neon blue. It's absolutely spot on. I think it will give me some style because my board, as you can see, got a lot of blue features to it. It's like black and blue uh, all in total. The bottom of the deck, have a look. That is so cool. And uh, yeah, it represents my Facebook uh, electrical skateboarding relating uh, group as well. So I've got the LEDs on the box itself. So you got front light, you got the LEDs. So if that's what you got roughly, you will need to see this video because you'll know how to control it. So let's start with the most important. So you've chosen your light and you've chosen your LEDs. Make sure that your LEDs are not over one amp and also that your front light is not over one amp. In this particular situation it is 12S so if your application is 50 volt you can use my video 100% buying the same parts which by the way I will leave the links to all the parts in the description below. You don't have to buy those particular parts I'm not uh, uh, sponsored I'm not telling you to buy them from that particular place. Uh, I'm not promoting those places. It's just the parts that I'm using for my particular application because they work. So you can make your own decision. You can find better prices, but at least 
with the links in the description below you can see what i bought so you can buy a similar or the same so for starters what will you need for this uh, led and light control let's start with the switch my switch is already drilled into the battery box by the way this is a charging port and the cables are already inside the box themselves with the cables for the leds so if you have your pev personal electrical vehicle wired up meaning your led lights installed you'll have the positive and negative of each light sticking out somewhere and you will have your switch so for my application we're going for a latch switch so you're probably thinking what's the difference switch is a switch well they're not there's a bit of a difference between the switches so there are two types of switches momentary and also the latching switch the difference is a simple latching switch is when you press on the switch the button stays in and when you turn it off the button comes out and stays out with the momentary switch you press it but it stays in the same position always out always equal to the surface of the switch itself this is for electronics like ECs and stuff like that so they pick up the signal you give it the signal quickly and it turns on and that's it then you give it another signal and it turns off so that's the difference main difference between the momentary and latching for my application we will need the latching switch so you turn it on and it stays in now there's another difference or another thing you should know about the switches most of the switches got the led lighting behind so that's the tramper one and we'll have a nice blue tramper logo glowing when you uh, have your board powered up or your pev powered up the momentary switch right here or sorry latching switch right here has the same feature which is led inside so when you buy them make sure that you get them with the voltage of 5 to 24 they come 220 volt they come whatever other voltage 36 volt so pretty much this is the voltage for the actual led nothing else so what i've got here for this application we're going to talk about is a latching switch 5 to 24 volt so the next very important part that you will require are the transformers this is something that's going to take the voltage of your battery and it will transform to the voltage of your LEDs. The LEDs in the front of my board and also LEDs on the battery box are 12 volt rated. So when you buy your LEDs, make sure they're 12 volt or you can get the suitable transformers. So one thing about transformers, most of the transformers on the market, they are quite cheap. You can regulate the voltage and they're working quite fine. However, you do get with them a lot of interference so a magnetic field all the way around the transformers themselves so if you have an application when transformer is right next to the receiver of the remote for instance if you use electrical skateboarding in this instance then you might have some interference with the control of your board and there are some people out there who have told me they had issues and board locking up at high speed or board locking up applying the full brakes out of control because it had the interference so these modules right here are very low interference modules i will leave the link in the description below where i got them from big credit to 3d services audrius because he's the one who told me about these modules he's used them for his leds for quite a long time and they are located right next to his receiver in the ec box and there is no problems whatsoever in my application as you have noticed on my board right here have a look i will have them in the battery box so it's quite away from my ec box but still it's within 300 millimeters from the actual receiver input is from 9 to 56 volt and the output is from 2 to 52 volt so this baby right here will sense the led this is actually an led driver so if you have leds on your board it will sense what voltage the leds do require and it will give them the voltage they require very smart another good feature about these things they're tiny they are only 
35 millimeters long, 20 millimeters wide, and they're only 14, sorry, 12 millimeters deep. So a tiny little thing. So why do I have two of these? Well, because I have LEDs and I have the front light, I will have one for the front light, one for LEDs. This way I know each one of the lights gets the maximum amperage that it requires to be at full uh, capacity, so the brightest it can be. Okay guys, so now let's talk about this lighting control module. Well, maybe I went a little bit too uh, fancy with the name. Uh, it won't be like a complete electronic PCB type of build, but quite close. So because these um, power adapters or transformers, whatever you want to call them, do come with pins that actually are for the PCB mounting, I thought to myself, yes, you could just bend them over and then solder the cables to them, but then you'll end up with two of them laying around with tons of cables around them. It's a bit messy. So what I have ordered is I have ordered a DIY PCB board. They are quite cheap on Amazon. I think you get like four of them for six quid or something. So pretty much these pins here, you can poke them through the uh, board itself and they end up on the back of the uh, board right there. You bend them over and you solder them together. Then you can link them together with the cables. Plus, I've managed to uh, get one of these done. I only needed half of PCB board because it's snappable. So this is what you end up with. You end up with neat uh, connections uh, soldered on with cables coming out of them and that's going to give you a mounting plate as well so when you install it inside your enclosure or inside your whatever you install it into it's kind of going to be you know in one place solid without moving around so i kind of like it so let me explain to you a little bit about this uh, power adapter right there so you've got connectors at the back the two on this side right here but it's quite straightforward to see it says voltage out so this is your 12 volt coming out on the other side you got two and two this is voltage in it says it's right here in the front so it's quite simple but also very important for the guys using this for electrical skateboarding or anyone else using it for uh, electrical vehicles that do have EC which is the uh, the brain of the board or the brain of the vehicle you will have the third pin right there this third pin goes back to your EC electronic speed controller so when you apply 5 volts to this pin right there and this is why I've made these cables color coded on the board I already started making you got your negative positive in negative positive out and you've got your uh, signal so this signal comes from EC so when you press that switch to turn on your vehicle or your skateboard the 5 volt floats through this cable and tells this little thing right there wake up turn on so at that point it will turn on and it will start converting the power from the battery to the power you require for your LEDs. I think that's quite smart. So my next step is we're going to solder on the second uh, power adapter right on this side right there. We're going to do the connections in the back same way, positive in, positive out and the signal and then I'll show you what we do for the next step. Study carefully how the copper connectors are working at the back because it connects three holes together with the copper. So you don't want obviously your negative and positive connecting together, but it shouldn't happen. But still take a look, be careful how you do it. Okay guys, so here is the module up close. Uh, this is what we built with you. And let me just run through it really quickly what's actually uh, we're done here so you can replicate if we want to so you do have two led control modules uh, they're mounted on a uh, motherboard base plate uh, i didn't go too fancy on it so now you have your uh, volts out so i have them on the same side uh, i have connected the volts out obviously soldered to the motherboard and the cables are out i got xt30 on the ends of these cables. On the other side, you do have uh, volts in. So what I've done, 
I have actually connected uh, positive to positive, negative to negative, so I can only have single power cable uh, supplying uh, the actual modules uh, the power. That's quite straightforward. On the positive side, I have these 30 amp rated fuse. What I mean, the 30 amp rated is the cabling and the actual uh, the holder is uh, 30 amp rated, but I did install 3 amp uh, uh, fuse in it. So that will protect uh, the battery from anything that could potentially go wrong in this circuit board. I doubt it will, but there we go. What I also have done, I've put a bit of uh, hot glue uh, where the actual cable is touching the uh, the board itself. This just to give it a bit more rigidity so it doesn't like pull off too easily. Otherwise you're relying on thin cable and soldering uh, to keep it uh, from breaking apart. Especially when you're like taking it off and on the board so you don't uh, damage the cable too easily. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to protect the back of it. Uh, I only kept it open so I can show it to you. I'm going to use a uh, really wide electrical tape and just stick uh, over the back of it. And if you want to, you can use normal electrical tape and just uh, do a few thin uh, layers one after another. Now let me show you how to connect this to my board. And then we're going to test it out, uh, the lights in the dock. Okay guys, so for starters, let's have a look at what do I have in the actual battery box. So I've got LEDs inside the resin, so you can see them they're nicely embedded, which I like. I got all my cables run inside and they are secured to the size of the uh, enclosure internally, so they don't yeah, get on the way. So I do also have the switch already installed uh, on the uh, battery box right here. And I've got my cable sticking out. So I got the positive and negative for the LEDs for the box. Positive and negative for the headlamp is already installed on the board as well. With cable long enough for it to go inside the battery enclosure. And I do have the signal, 5 volt signal that runs back from the EC. So when I turn the EC on, this one here gets the 5 volt telling these uh, LED drivers to turn on. So that's quite spot on. So this is how simple uh, you connect this all together. So let's start with the switch. I've got the positive of the uh, LEDs, uh, LED drivers onto the switch. So we're breaking up the switch pretty much. Power from the battery will come out into the switch, then come out of the switch and then feed the LED drivers. So that's taken care of. Next step is the 5 volt signal that gets plugged into 5 volt signal right there. Then you have the LEDs on the battery box. This gets plugged into one of the connections uh, on the LED drivers which is power out and then we get the front light of the board and this is your secondary power out and that's pretty much you are done. Now what you do have as well as I mentioned you got a uh, fuse on the positive from the battery to the actual switch so even if switch goes bad this will blow out and your board will be safe. So now we're going to plug in the battery to the module. And as you can see, we've got nothing. Now we're going to turn on the EC. So EC is now on. So now we have signal coming to the LED uh, drivers. And now the drivers became live. And now by pressing the switch, LEDs are on, and now you got your switch LED on as well. I want it for the LED on the switch to turn on when the lights are on, so in the dark you kind of see where you're pressing. And that's it. Off, on, off, and on. So, let's test these lights in the dark. One, two, three. Wow. Very happy with the headlight, that is bright, 
Look at that glow. It's hard to explain this blue glow, but it's just sick. Thank you for watching guys hope you liked the video and hope you uh, will use this recipe let me know if you will and see you very soon